Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, as you can probably tell from the title, I've got a pretty little thing haul today. Um, basically, it's just, I went down the new in section on there, had a look at what things would be nice for spring, like this like, tri uh, what's it called, transitional period, like when you're coming out of hoodies, more into like spring, summer clothes. So yeah, a lot of this is from the new in section on Pretty Little Thing. Um, I'm gonna try it all on as well. I have tried some of it on, um, but you'll see me trying on everything as well. So yeah, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, if you enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Um, and let me know down below what your favorite pieces are, if you're gonna pick anything up. And yeah, let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna show you, I actually got a couple of t-shirts. Um, they're slightly different. I just thought t-shirts, like obviously in like spring are perfect because often it's not like cold enough, it's not warm enough to wear them by themselves, but it's too warm to wear a hoodie so you can like layer them, all things like that. And then obviously you can still wear them in the summer. So this first one I picked up, it's called White Ironically Hot Print Fitted Crop Shirt. So basically, it's just like a little cropped tee. Um, it just says, let me move the label, iconically hot on it. It just thought it would be so cute to like wear with like skirt or jeans. Like it just looks so simple yet yeah, like because it's got like this writing on, you feel a bit more like, I don't know, put together. Um, so yeah, it's really soft. The only thing is, I have tried this on, but I tried it on when I had like a blue bra on um, and it was quite see-through. So I'm hoping like if I wear it with a white bra or a nude bra or something like that, um, it'll look a little bit better. But yeah, it's really soft, quite stretchy as well. Um, so yeah, and then I got this in a size large. I could probably size down maybe if I wanted a little bit extra tight, but it fits me fine. Um, so yeah, this was the first thing I picked up. I can't remember the prices of everything, but I'll link everything um, in the description anyway, so you can go and search it. Um, so yeah, that was the first one. Hello everyone, let me push it down a bit. Right, so I'll talk through the top first, because I did that separately, but this is the top. I've put, let me, right, I've put a new bra under it and it's fine. You can slightly see like the cups of it, um, but yeah, nothing, nothing really like obvious at all. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this. The second t-shirt I picked up was this one. So this one's a bit more of like a thicker, um, like more structured, structured top, would I say? So this is the Petite Cream Good Days Graphic Tee and I got this in a size 12. I haven't tried this on um, but I wanted it like skin tight like to me in um, and not be like baggy um, because I wanted to wear it with like looser bottoms or something like that. Um, so yeah, so this one's definitely a lot thicker and then it just has this Good Days writing on. Um, this one's more of like a creamy colour I'd want to say. Um, but yeah, you can see, looks very structured. It feels very nice. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this one fits nicely, but this one wasn't too expensive either, I don't think. Um, and yeah, I just really like the writing. I think like a good day just reminds me of scissors to be honest, but yeah, really enjoyed this one. Oh, and I got this in a size 12. I can't remember if I've said. Right, the uh, next thing I'll talk about is the top. I don't like it. It's just... I don't think I should have sized down in it, um, but I just, I don't know when I'd wear it, like, that's the length of it, and I don't know where I'd wear it, that length, um, yeah, it, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really, like, I like the design of it and everything, I just don't know personally when I'd wear it, um, I thought it'd be, like, a little bit more crop, maybe, um, but yeah, and it's just, like, bit too small for me i don't know why i sized down i thought it was going to be like a t-shirt that was a bit more flowy so i could size down but i'd say just stick with your normal size right so the next thing i picked up was kind of just a bit of on a whim really 
Um, I don't have anything to wear it for, but I just feel like you can never have too many like black nice dresses in your wardrobe like if you're going out you can just throw on so this one is the textured cut out flared sleeve bodycon dress uh, and i got this in a 14 um and it's like i don't know if you can see too well but it's like like a crepe material would i say like it's really like yeah like a crepe material but it's basically got like a cut out here and then obviously like a v-neck i don't know how well you can see that because it's black um but yeah and then it's got like flared sleeves but the model when she had it on it just looked really nice and just like simple that you could wear like in the summer it wouldn't be too thick you could maybe dress it up dress it down um like colorful bag maybe but i just thought it was a really nice dress just to have in your wardrobe that you could wear like and re-wear to loads of different things the only thing is i think this is going to be quite short on me i do have an issue with pretty little thing dresses where they are just too short on me to be honest um but they could be baggy everywhere else but they are just too short but we'll see i got this in a size 14 which is my new normal size so we'll see but i just thought yeah i could wear this with trainers i could wear it with heels colourful heels I just thought this was a really nice yeah just nice basic dress the next thing I picked up was also something that I've just never owned before but it was just in the new in section and I thought why not so these are khaki cargo pocket detail baggy boyfriend jeans so these are basically jeans that look like cargos the only thing online they looked a lot more like that like khaki brownie kind of colour and I wouldn't say these are khaki I'd say they're green Um, they're a lot more green than I was expecting I don't know if I like the green too much but we'll see so basically they're jeans it's got like pocket detailing down the legs on both legs and then it's got this like sh not stripe but like um line going all the way down them on both legs um i have tried these on they fit fine i did get these in the 16 i'm usually a bit bigger on the bottom than i am um the top and i usually have issues with like jeans and stuff that they're they fit my bum and legs but they're too big around the waist but these fit fine everywhere like they they really did fit well and then they've just got like a baggy um not flared but like baggy bottom um, but yeah, I'd say I. It depends. I wouldn't. If you're bigger on the top, definitely go for the bigger size. Um, bigger on the bottom, sorry. But yeah, these fit me fine, and I'm in between a 16 and a 14 with like especially jeans and stuff like that. Trousers on a 14. Um, sometimes even a 12. But jeans, I feel like everybody has an issue with jeans. But yeah, I just thought these would be really nice with just like. A basic top like maybe one of the tops that i've got up that i bought um i feel like you could just yeah you wear these in spring summer like a good transitional trouser to be honest the next thing are these cargos um i've tried these on before they just give me a little bit of a camel toe to be honest but they like they're a nice design it's got like the pockets on the side and that i just not really a massive fan of the color like i said when I was talking through, um, I don't know when I'd wear them that, that much, but for the actual design, they're just giving me a little bit of a camel toe slightly, but they fit fine everywhere else. It's just, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the colour. Yeah. Uh, was this basic skirt. So I go to Milan um, next weekend and I was I didn't really want to buy anything for Milan like specifically, but maybe something that I could wear Milan and wear like in other places. So this is the black jersey low rise maxi skirt, and I got this in a fourteen. And basically, it is just one very long skirt. It's got no ruching or anything, and it's jersey material, so we all know what that's like. Um, if I do that, it does look a little bit see-through, but I've tried this on and it's not see-through at all, to be honest. But it literally goes right down to your ankles and I don't wear anything like this or 
own anything like this sorry but I just feel like something like this is a great piece just to have in your wardrobe like I'm very much like that now within the last year I've really tried to buy stuff that you can wear with loads of different pieces you can wear any time of the year like just having really good basics in your wardrobe and this didn't cost a lot um, and I actually tried this on with the Iconically Hot t-shirt and it just looked really cool like you could wear with trainers you could wear with sandals maybe in the summer um it was just a really nice basic to have so i think I'm, i am going to take this to milan with me and um, because it's a little bit warmer over there but yeah this with like a little cropped leather jacket um t-shirt trainers i just think is a perfect little staple so yeah and this is the skirt you can't see how long it is i don't think i can't push you down any further but it is like all the way down to my ankle and that's pulling it off and i just pull it down a bit really shit on my stomach area but yeah really like this i think this is actually in something i wear in milan um like boots trainers little leather jacket so yeah really enjoy both these pieces um so yeah i got which i haven't actually tried on yet so i don't know what it's going to look like but it is a little knit Cord. and i know what you're probably thinking like we're going to spring like now it's going to be a little bit warmer but i don't feel like you're gonna you like it gets warm in england until like june or july so we've got a few months left and i really feel like this is something that you could wear year on year so basically it's this little knitted gray cord cord so it's called charcoal brush knit wide leg and then the top is charcoal charcoal collared soft knit and you do buy these separately but basically they're just a nice wide leg like a little jogger trouser um and they just look so comfy like they feel so soft so basically yeah just a plain no drawstring it's just elasticated at the waist um i got the bottoms in a medium did i yeah bottoms in a medium and the top if I can find the label, I got the top in a large. So yeah, it basically they just I just think they look so cozy, and I feel like these with some trainers and just the top in a little bag would be just perfect for this weather. So I'll try it on and see. So they're the trousers, and then the top, same exact colour, obviously, because they're cord, and they're basically just this like little knit collared top like little collared sleeves and then yeah just, doesn't that just look so cozy like and i think for this weather when you, you're hitting like 10 12 degrees it's not boiling outside but you don't want to wear in a thick coat and a, ju and a jumper so i just feel like this will be really cozy this time of the year you'll still feel warm you'll still feel like yeah so yeah i thought this would be a great right idea. the next thing is the cord i've just i'm doing like a tiktok as i record the try clips but i just said if you're working from home this would be an ideal piece because it is so cozy and so comfy and like so warm but i don't know where i wear it like it's just a little bit too big um and i don't know how i'd style it to like make it look nice to go out in if, if you get what i mean like it just feels like just a bit of a loungy one that i'd wear around the house but i don't want to keep it just for that but i mean it's very it is very soft like i'll give them that i just just does nothing for me to be honest yeah that is everything in the haul today um not too many pieces but i feel like you can wear those pieces with lots of different things and i really feel like the new insection on pretty little thing is really doing a lot in the minute like i could have bought way more things from there um but yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the haul let me know if you're going to get any pieces or you liked any of the pieces and yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in next week's video